Okay, so that was uh, pretty easy. Hey, these guys are looking like they're gonna be tasty. A lot of crowd ads here. Dang. <laughs> All right, I'm at Frenchman Flats, and I think the Deus area, I think that's what it's called. And I'm gonna go run up uh, to Pyramid, not to Pyramid Lake, but like, you know, to the, as far as makes sense, um, along this road, and I'm gonna poke along the creek and look for crawdads. If I find any, I'll come back, walk to the creek and catch a bunch of them. So, uh, yeah. All right, I'm about a half mile up. I'm gonna jog all the way. Or at least a good way is down there, maybe two miles or so. But I'm gonna check this out first. So just to poke around, see if there are caught that. Yeah. So this does look actually kind of promising, but in terms of like the velocity of the flow, I guess it's not obvious. So yeah, it's, it's not obvious that it's that much better than Big Tunga. Although, okay. <laughs> so someone, there's some things been getting caught out of these creeks. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is going to be a, a good spot, I think, to come back to. Okay, this looks super promising for crawdads. It's a little chilly now, but I'm just going to kind of poke around. You know, even these reeds, I bet if I start you know, just doing my thing, I'll probably find a few. But yeah, this is sort of the expedition. Um, the reconnaissance, sorry, the reconnaissance mission. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the spot that seems most uh, probable in terms of crowd ads. So yeah, here, I'm gonna check over here. There's sort of like a little waterfall. So it could be the case that crowd ads are mostly found downstream. grabbing it's better <laughs> yeah okay I'm just gonna try to grab him from now on worry about that net. <laughs> okay so that was uh, pretty easy um, cut it with my hands I have a feeling that when I come back I'm gonna get a bunch of these guys enough for my tiny cooler and maybe I'll make lunch <laughs> all right I'm gonna let him go and uh, maybe I'll be back to catch him <laughs> there he is perhaps in the future uh, next hour or so you can see here that uh, you're not supposed to trespass. It goes up to a dam, which you can actually see though from above. Uh, all right, a little water bottle, uh, for the crawdads, bigger net than normal, and uh, a little koi, some yogurt for breakfast, and yeah, and head out. Hopefully, find some high quality, high quantity crawdads. All right, there's a little guy. Uh, I'll put him in the cooler in a sec. But yeah, I uh, actually came across another one, but it got away from me. So, but this is the uh, first one I guess I'm gonna keep for now. All right, there's number one, keep going. So I got uh, maybe uh, one, two, three, five or six. I guess it's about five now. Um, this area in particular, has been nice to see another one there. Uh, I've been catching it mostly with my net or hands. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot. So regions like this, um, I did just wind up catching one, right? But uh, it's uh, pretty slow moving, but it's not like one of those uh, more or less uh, semi-stagnant areas where I got a lot of them. Alrighty, so. Got another one, just a little back that ways. Uh, yeah, you can see here, I have some, not a whole lot. Part of it's just uh, the abundance, I would say, of crawdads, and part of it's just me maybe getting better with time. Um, All right, there we are. Got some little crawdaddies, <laughs> crawdads. I bet, so I have been actually only catching a very small fraction what I wind up seeing here, you know? Uh, so I bet if you were to like bait them uh, in a crawdad trap, you'd get a lot. Um, I kind of like the sport of trying to catch them either with my hands or with the net. But yeah, this is what I got for now. I think I'm pretty late in the season, so not a crazy amount here, but I'm gonna keep going up. All right, another one. 
this right here <laughs> where I stopped filming last. Yeah, so I guess uh, what I've been doing is kind of using the net with my hands to kind of grab it quickly in an awkward position and get it in the net. So yeah. <laughs> so there's another one. It's just right there. I just came here, saw this little guy walking around. I didn't even really need the net. I sort of used the net to trap it against the rock, but then I just grabbed him. And uh, yeah, so now uh, time to put him with the rest of the <sighs> feast. Yeah, they look kind of dirty now, but once I um, once I once I boil them, apparently they'll, they'll turn real red. So that'll be good. All right, another one. <laughs> so there's not a lot. But like every every you know. 20, 30 yards, I seem to be catching a, or less maybe, I seem to be catching a crawdad. So, I'm happy about that. Maybe it's the time of day too, sun's starting to come up. All right, two at a time this time, you know? Uh, <laughs> so I was just walking around here, got one, got two. I'm gonna keep walking up, uh, keep getting more. I don't think I'm gonna film every time I see a crawdad though. I mean, I wasn't doing that to start with, but. I started doing that recently, and it's only been a little ways, and I just wind up filming a lot. So yeah, two at a time, I'll go with the rest. All right, this spot uh, is kind of prolific, you know. I got a uh, got three, <laughs> so three at a time here. Uh, I probably could have caught more, like one or two of them sort of got away from me, um, unfortunately. But yeah, I, I'm gonna keep making my way upstream, so. I feel like this is a good area where I could definitely bait them and catch a lot if I decide to do that ever. Um, but yeah. All right, these guys are looking like they're gonna be tasty. I'm gonna go a little further, I think, to this waterfall I can hear above, uh, and then I'm gonna head back. The one that I sort of stopped at at my reconnaissance uh, mission. All right, this is the waterfall uh, where the first trot out I found in the morning was when I was just sort of snooping around. I think the idea is maybe go up there if I can grab one or two more triads up there, I'll grab them and then rinse off in the pool here and uh, head back. So I'm gonna head back along the road, which is up that way. But yeah, <laughs> what a nice spot. All right, back here again. So I guess what I'm gonna do is just uh, poke around in here. Well, the first one is pretty easy. Just grab this guy, uh, barely started. <laughs> this might be the way to go to get a lot of them. Not sure, <laughs> but yeah. Now there are two of them. Hard to kind of focus on you guys, there you are. But uh, yeah, I found a few more since I was over there, but the water was a little deep, so uh, <laughs> it's kind of challenging to catch them. But now that it's shallowing out there, kind of easier to catch, which is good. All right, I'm gonna put the last two in the bucket. <laughs> they just don't wanna let go, do they? All right, there you go. And two. Mm -hmm. All right, there you are. And got this about half full crawdads. <laughs> so I'm gonna take them back to my place and, uh, and purge them and then maybe boil them or saute them. Yeah. All right, you see how murky this water is? It's because crawdads are really dirty. So what I'm gonna do is uh, purge this, and what this involves is just uh, keeping the water running and maybe dumping some of it out a little bit until it's, uh, it's clear. And uh, if anything sort of rises to the top that means it died, I don't think too much of this will die. Too much of these will be dead, but I like this one's clearly alive. The rest of them are alive. Um, but yeah. All right, so I'd say the purge is pretty much done. Um, <laughs> Place you there. Uh, the water is really clear, right, compared to what it was like. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going to saute some garlic and onions for a little bit, and then I'm actually going to bring that up to boil, right, and just scrape that in. Um, after it cooked a little, just to be a little quick and dirty with this one. And uh, yeah, once the water's at a boil, I'll put the crawdads in for maybe like five ish minutes or so and uh, dip them in some butter after. Now that this is going, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. It's not really boiling yet, but it doesn't hurt. 
and some pepper. I'm gonna squeeze without filming. <laughs> or grind without filming, yeah. All right, now that it's boiling, I'm gonna put them in one at a time. One, two, three. All right, uh, 37 crawdads. I think that's uh, just the right amount to fit in my pot. So I'm happy I didn't actually uh, top off my cooler to the max. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna maybe give this five, 10 minutes or so, maybe five minutes. I think they cook pretty quickly. Uh, maybe I'll start sauteing some veggies and some other things. Okay, uh, the crawdads are starting to smell really, really good. You know, that, that lobster shrimp-like smell. Um, I started up some zucchini back there. So. But yeah, it's uh, coming along nicely. All right, a lot of crawdads here. <laughs> My other stuff sauteing right now, the zucchini. So yeah, that's pretty much done. Okay. All right, I got some zucchini, crawdads, and a little bit of butter for dipping. Um, but you know how it goes. So for each crawdad, there's not a lot of meat. This is normally what I get. But what I do is uh, do this, dip it in the butter, pretty clear, right? And then uh, I eat it, and it's so good. So good. Got in butter. Mm, wow, it's really, really actually quite good. Holy cow. I'm definitely doing this more often. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Dang. <laughs> Ate all of it. It's very good though. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely need to do this more often.